Hello, my name is Miguel, and I will be talking about clean energy in our city. The United States has always been intertwined in the inevitable dependency of fossil fuel energy. San Antonio is a prime example of a growing city. With a population of 1.6 million, I propose that CPS Energy adapts a new infrastructure that is flexible and receptible to technical advancements in the engineering and environmental sector. This includes solar and wind energy. By steering away from petroleum reliability, by utilizing new technology that is environmental friendly, reliable, and in the long term wise financial investment, I propose a campaign to educate all, including politician representatives, municipal customer service provider, big tech companies, and our diverse demographic population, the impact a clean air transition can be to our health, wallet, and view. We must all do our part to find ways to decrease our carbon footprint. My intentions are to persuade the CPS Energy, San Antonio Board of Trustees, which also include the Mayor, to transition a large part of San Antonio's energy consumption from coal electricity to renewable dependency at a sensible speed that can adapt to our residents' needs. This includes the justification of closing coal plants, encouraging funding to stimulate new green jobs, and investigating and investing in new technology research such as solar batteries. San Antonio is home to a growing diverse population. The city is proud to say that it is the seventh largest in San Antonio in America according to 2019 census estimate. Such an area has expanded due to strong collaboration within the community. That which includes partnerships with manufacturer companies, healthcare and bioscience in industries, military base, and small businesses. Now this is a picture of San Antonio and we can see that from the span of a decade we have grown almost 14% and that is like a tangible indicator of how much we have grown. CPS Energy is our municipal electricity utility survive provider. CPS is responsible for allocating all San Antonians and other nearby counties with electricity. Generated in diverse methods as renewable, coal, gas, nuclear, and hopefully in the near future, wind and solar energy. CPS websites has indicated that 63% of our energy produced derives from non-renewables, that is, natural gas and coal. CPS has persistent database of where and how much energy is being produced and distributed in their grid line to such an extent that we can compare the production rate in the respectful percentages. Coal being an abundance, easily accessible resource and solar energy having a spike of hope in the near future. We must use our city's parameters to its fullest advantage, the introduction of alternative technologies such as wind turbines and solar panels are necessities. Scientists have informed the public that coal is a non-renewable resource, meaning that there is limited amount, so continued dependency of petroleum is futile. Therefore, mature resource provider creates energy from multiple avenues, such as utilizing both non-renewable resource and renewable, meaning equal infrastructure backing. Now, we can see why we would like to transition to clean air. We believe that pollution, mostly created from burning coal that has low sulfur, is negligible to human breathing. It could have both acute and chronic issues that could affect the residents in short and long terms. We can also talk about the production of CO2 by means of transportation. Normally, an increased population indicates an increased amount of cars, and cars, when combined with sunlight at special times during the day, creates an excess amount of ozone, and ozone gas is deteriorating to people in general's health. Lastly, we will talk about the strong partnership that it is needed in our community to continue and push on this new green idea. CPS Energy wrapped up their second annual City of Future conference earlier this year. In this conference, CPS Energy President 
met and discussed a day-to-day -day transformation and partnerships with influential local government. This collaboration is critical in discussing future transportation, stimulation, and work development in a new resilience public information digital age. More resources to the community is always a positive view. All future CPS contracts fall solely on the approval of a five-member board of trustees. Thus, it is important to nurture a strong partnership to assure we are all on the same page. CPS straps for excellent customer service and being recognized as a community champion, all which highlight our provider's ethical and astute decision making, underlining why CPS makes momentous decisions in small steps, always guaranteeing high quality service at real time. These innovation partnerships have already created more than 600 jobs and about $1 billion annual income impact. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope that in the near future we can all talk about green energy more frequently.